What's up guys? Welcome back to another video on Growth Vertical. Today I actually wanted to cover keyword research and how you can actually look at keywords and the results of those keywords entered in a search engine for different regions. It's very important for any startup, anyone that's just started their own business, is building their own brand and they want to go ahead and do keyword research to understand keyword search demand from different users, looking for ideas around content for their content marketing efforts. And there is a particular hack that I know of that you can look at the results for particular regions, which a lot of people don't actually utilize. So if you're looking at, if you're looking at my screen, you can see that we're currently on the Google search engine. And currently I have, let me just move this to the right hand side. But um, currently I have my search engine set to the United Kingdom, right? And let's say I wanted to go ahead and carry out some keyword research around, let's say the keywords, how to do keyword research, right? Let's go ahead and search that. So we can see how to do keyword research. Now we can see that these are the search results for the UK, right? So. You can see Elementor, Test Gorilla, SpyFu, Orla, Keyword Finder, Orla in the top five for the ads. And then you've got Hrefs, which come first, Moz, uh, HubSpot. And then you've got some people also asked with Backlinko and Neil Patel coming in at ninth, right? So if you look at it, pay attention to the questions as well, because they would also change per region. And here's the really cool hack. If you wanted to just go ahead and search for the results and look at the results for USA, for example, or any other country, you'd simply just head over to settings, search settings, and then you'd go down to the bottom, go to show more and then select your region. So if you're doing national SEO, you can go ahead and understand what the search results are going to be like for a particular keyword for that particular region. So I want to go for the United States at the moment and I'm going to say save. It's going to refresh. We can see test gorilla come out on front, up front with the ads, then hrefs. We can see hrefs are first, more second, HubSpot third. So the same as the UK. But then you can see that the number of people also ask questions have changed. Neil Patel comes out seventh instead, right? Um, and and this is this is pretty interesting because when you go and change things by region, you can really get a a transparent view of what the search results are like, what the top 10 search results are like for a particular keyword, should you go after them in a particular region. So if I was to go to Germany, let's say, I might be looking at different search results. Hey, here we go, hrefs are first, the keywords, also, the people also ask questions have changed. And you can see that right off the bat, you know, you've got number five, at Hub, Hub, HubSpot, blah, 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 spot, HubSpot. Number six is at Moz, and then you've got seven is Google. So. I hope this has been really interesting for you. I tend to use this hack quite a bit actually when I'm running keyword research. So if I'm using SEMrush or anything like that, yes, you can look at a preview of the top 10 results, but let's say you're not using a paid tool, you're using free tools like Ubersuggest maybe, or Keyword Finder and using a combination of the free tools out there to carry out your early bird keyword research, then I would recommend also checking what each keyword perform uh, how each keyword performs and what the search results are like based off of the search results on each regional change right so do use that feature it's super helpful and you can understand with tools as well like seo quake or the moz toolbar or the hrefs toolbar you can understand exactly how many uh, how much traffic you know what type of companies actually sit on these 10 search results right on the first page and you can understand hey if i'm gonna go ahead and look at how hubspot got there well you know they have a do domain score of 71 uh they have let's say for example referring links are a ridiculous amount over millions right essentially and the number of links on that page is around 65,000, which is insane and their traffic points to like about 5.26 million you really can get a competitive snapshot right of the people that are sit on the top 10 results so again i hope this has been useful if you found this useful and you want to see more videos like this where i also share some hacks and quick things that i actually work with my clients on then i would actually go ahead and you know urge you to subscribe to the channel and do hit that like button if you definitely found this useful uh take it easy guys and i'll speak to you soon see you later